welcome back to Martin's Home and Garden Houseplant of the Week. This week we're talking about a super popular plant right now called the Alocasia Frydeck. These plants are native to the Philippines and they're known for their green velvety leaves that start out as a lime green. I don't know if you can see this one. Um, it started out as a lime green color and they slowly get more dark and green and velvety as they mature. Um, they are super popular right now, so if you're able to get your hands on one of these, you should snatch it up while you can because they're not going to last long. Um, they are also toxic to humans and animals, so if you have little fingers, little paws at home, uh, be sure that this is somewhere out of reach that they cannot get to because they are toxic. Um, but if you are interested in this really cool and fun plant, we're going to show you how to care for it today. Um, so to start off, we're going to talk about the lighting for this plant. They prefer a bright indirect light, but they'll tolerate a couple hours of direct sun. Um, if you have a northern or an eastern window, that is going to be like perfect, perfect lighting for these plants. Um, northern windows just get that perfect bright indirect light without too much direct sun. And eastern windows get that nice gentle morning light um, that's not going to be super harsh on the leaves of this alcasia. Um, if you have a southern or a western window that light's going to be a little bit too harsh for these guys their leaves will burn um, so if you do that's all you got to put the only place that you have to put these plants just bring them back a couple feet from those windows so that the direct light's not touching them too bad um, and that should be just fine um, these will not do well in lower light so if you're able to give them that, that bright indirect light that's going to be perfect but no lower light for these guys they will not be very happy um, the next thing we'll talk about is watering for these alocasias. Water them whenever the top two inches of soil is dry. So if you stick your finger up to your middle knuckle, down into the soil, make sure it feels completely dry before you water them again. They like their soil to be moist, but not soggy. Um, if they're left in soggy soil for way too long, they are prone to root rot, so that can happen. Just beware. Um, but they also don't want to dry out completely. Um, they will go dormant if they're left dry for too long. So just be trying to keep it in like an evenly moist um, soil is gonna be the best for these guys. Um, so letting the top two inches dry out should allow most of the soil to still be moist, but without it being too soggy, if that makes sense. Um, next we'll talk about humidity. These guys are from the tropical jungles of the Philippines. So that means they love warm temperatures and they love humidity. So giving these guys lots of humidity, a warm, sunny spot, they're going to be super happy. Um, we do have a whole video about how to increase humidity in your home and some other reasons why it's important, not just for alocasias, but for all your plants. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be linked right above me here. Um, but you can really just get a humidifier, put these guys close to a humidifier, mist them a couple times a week, um, or put them on a pebble tray. And in that video, we show you how to make your own pebble tray. Um, so the last thing we'll talk about is soil for these guys. They want a well-draining soil, even though they like their soil to be moist. Um, well-draining soil mixed with perlite and peat moss. That will help to keep the soil well-draining so that your soil is not staying too soggy um, for these guys. And then when you go to repot them, make sure that your pot has a drainage hole. I stress it in every video, but it's very important. Make sure your pots have a drainage hole. That way you're giving it one less reason to get root rot. That water needs an escape um, so that your plant's not sitting in it. Because if the roots are sitting in it for too long, it's gonna be likely to get root rot, unfortunately. Um, so peat moss, this is the Espoma organic peat moss. And then this is the Espoma organic perlite. If you just do an indoor soil, mixed to three parts of your indoor soil mixed with one part of each of these. That's going to be like the optimal soil for these guys and they will be super happy. Um, but that is all that we have today for you guys. Um, we hope you like this video and we will see you again next week. Bye!